So have you ever been in a situation where you have clients coming to you and you're getting paid after the fact and you're just tired of chasing money? This is Lauren Fogelman with Business Success Solution. And that is exactly why so many firm owners, bookkeepers, accountants, tax preparers, they are shifting away from the hourly rate and moving towards getting prepaid for their services. But if this is something new for you, you might hesitate with making, making this switch. And part of it is because you have clients that have been with you from the very beginning. And people don't like change. And those clients, if you're going from invoicing over to prepaid, they might have some questions. And what I'm going to say is beginning this process has to start with you, the firm owner. You have to connect with your value before you can expect anybody else to recognize the value that you deliver to them. And some of the things that might come up as you're thinking about this and wondering if this is a good move or seeing this as a great move, but you hesitate because you don't want to possibly lose clients is you might wonder, how do you explain this to them? What happens when they say no or that they have other options and that there's some pushback? And all those things can once again cause you to he hesitate, second gate, second guess yourself, maybe go back and renege on what you want to do and stick with the status quo that you've always been doing, even though it wasn't very effective before and it's still not effective now. So I just want to say you need to once again connect with why this is a great solution for you and your firm moving forward and get on board with it before you can expect your clients to get on board with this too. And look at this more like a course correction. So this is a different way of looking at things because over time, as you've been in the profession longer and longer, continue to study, continue to stay on top of things, continue to serve your clients, your value continues to rise up also. What you know, your expertise, your insights continue to build over time. And I believe your fees ought to reflect the value that you deliver to your clients. And when you're ready to move in this direction, I advise my clients to do two things. What you want to do is transition away from an hourly rate or fixed fee over to value pricing. And the other thing is you want to use this as a point to be able to also switch from invoicing over to prepayment. So once again, you want to consider making two transitions at one time. Get away from the hourly rate or the fixed fee, which is based on your time, and transition over to value pricing. And the second one is to go ahead and move away from invoicing clients and getting paid after the fact to getting prepaid for your services. And before we go into this, I just want to also say the difference between fixed fee and value pricing uh, is pretty substantial. They seem similar, but they're not. So what happens is that fixed fees are going to focus on things that matter to you, your time, your course, a little bit of profit margin. So those are the things that are going to be important to you. Whereas value pricing emphasizes the solutions, the solutions that you offer your client. This isn't about the task that you're doing or how much time it takes. It is about the outcome as a result of you doing these things. And the reason that that is so important is that's why that's why your clients hire you. They hire you for solutions. They don't want to buy your time. They don't care about what tasks you're doing. They are engaging your services because you solve a particular thing that is a priority for them or important to them. The other thing is that as you make the transition over from getting paid afterwards, the invoicing to prepayment, then there's a couple of things that happen. First of all, solutions are so much more important than your time. People, as I said, invest in solutions. They don't want to rent your soul, rent more of your time or anything like that. The second thing is that when you're emphasizing solutions and your expertise on how to be able to achieve those solutions, then clients see you as that advisor, consultant. They recognize all those years of experience that you bring to them and how that makes a difference. And the third thing is that 
you now get paid for your services ahead of time. You no longer have to chase money. And there are so many benefits that happen when you start getting prepaid for your services. So I want to give you an example about how Debbie, an accountant, first went ahead and implemented this exact strategy with her clients, going from uh, time-based fees over to uh, value pricing and also shifting away from invoicing over to prepayment. So she was nervous about doing that. And what we did before she had her first meeting with a client about this transition is we had a dress rehearsal. We did a role play where I was able to go ahead and go through the conversation with her. We were able to go ahead and fine tune what it is that she focused on. So it was more about the value and the benefits to the client than about why she was doing this and how this made a difference for her. So that was the thing. first thing is we went ahead and we did a role play. We did a dress rehearsal on what that conversation would be like. And as a result of that, Debbie was able to kind of fine tune her approach. She went ahead and practiced it a couple more times to feel more comfortable with it. And that client meeting went better than expected for her. In fact, Debbie found that this client that she met with, and this was the first conversation with a client. Uh, she had more clients to meet with afterwards, but this client went ahead and opted for her largest package, which was a six times increase from what he was currently paying her on a monthly basis. She went ahead and once again, increased the value of a client. She was now having someone who was excited in what he was opting into with her because he saw it as an investment and he was now gonna pay it six times more than what she was currently receiving from him on a monthly basis. And I'm gonna just say doing this for Debbie definitely challenged her. She didn't have the confidence at first, but she had the courage to do something different. It stretched her comfort zone, but getting it done, getting that first buy-in from a client gave her confidence to keep on moving forward with this and it became easier as she did them over and over again. So do you want that kind of result for yourself where you're able to go ahead and move away from time-based fees, whether it's an hourly rate or a fixed fee, owe to value pricing, and also get paid before you do the service instead of getting paid afterwards? Then join me for my complimentary masterclass, Stop Competing on Price, Confidently Answer the What's Your Alley Rate question. It is on March 22nd, which is Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific. And you can go and get all the details at businesssuccesssolution.com forward slash hourly. Once again, join the masterclass to answer what's your hourly rate and start to make this transition for yourself. It's Friday, March 22nd at 1 o'clock Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific at businesssuccesssolution.com forward slash hourly. And please let me know what you took away from this, what it reaffirmed as far as what you're already doing, or maybe give you, gave you inspiration on some next steps to make this tr transition and raise the bar as far as the value of your clients and the clients you engage in your firm. Lauren Fogelman, showing accounting firm owners how to double their income, working half the time.